Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel, Belinda here from Visualize DNZ. So I got a lot done in my Cafe Flowers journal yesterday afternoon, after I would recorded my two videos I went back to the office and did a whole bunch of work uh, and I've written a list of things that I want to get achieved today in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do, I will do a flip through um, at some point of everything because there's a lot that you haven't seen. Um, but the first thing I want to do is do this journal card to go in this side pocket here. Um, and I want to give it a file tab top. So just need to mark it roughly where I want it to go. So I'm just going to go there. I still haven't got a pencil with me, which is a bit frustrating. Right, so I'll move the journal out the way for the moment. Okay, I'm going to be using a envelope punch board to create my file tab top. Uh, it's a We Are Memory Keepers one. I've had it for years. Um, I believe you can still get them and they do other punch boards as well. I think they've got a multi board which also does the envelopes. Uh, this is the only one I've got. Um, there's other ways of achieving this, uh, but I just wanted to show this because this is how I do it. So I just want to show you the punch here at the top creates this sort of shape, this V, if you can see that. So we're going to use that V to create our top. So this side of the cutout, so the right hand side of the punch, that's going to be the left hand side of our tab and then we move it across and the left hand side of the punch will create the right hand side of our tab. So if I move this along, so I'm looking to create the curve on this side. So I've done two things and this is going to be our tab here. So hopefully you're following what I'm meaning and then all that you need to do then is cut along on each side to the bottom curve. Like that and we've got a tab top. So I'm going to do that on this journal card but I need to just trim it down first. I'm using the coffee cups on the paper to just trim to size. And now I want to decide how big I want my tab. And I'm going to cut the left hand side first. And then I'm going to cut my right hand side. Like so, get rid of all the punched out bits. So it's quite simple, um, the hardest part is actually cutting sort of straight and meeting up with that curve, but it doesn't have to be perfect, it gives the effect perfectly well without needing to be meet perfectly. Okay, so we've got our little file tab on there. So as you know I'm distressing everything in this journal. Before I do that, I do want to round the corners on this. And do I want to do those ones as well? I can't, because I've got the tab now, so I can't round those top corners, but that's alright. Right, now back to thinking. So it's a, um, a bit of a weird weather day today. We had a rainbow on the way to work. Uh, well, the two ends anyway. We couldn't see them at all when we had rain and at the moment it's sunshine. But it is snowing in parts of the country. So it's not a warm day at all. Right. Now do I want to decorate this with anything? I'm thinking I probably will, so that will slide in there. Perfect, it 
perfectly lines up with the edge of the page there. Um, what would I like to pop on it? I've got the coffee symbol there, so I'm thinking maybe a flower might be nice. And I'm just thinking simple, uh, simple element. So these flowers are from Artsology. I've been playing with this flower for a while and never actually put it down anywhere, but this might be a nice place to put it. Yep. And now that I said I'm going simple, I'm thinking, oh, I'd like a word on there as well. Or something like that. So before you know it, I'll have it all collaged up with different things. Right, I didn't ink the flower, but never mind. I don't know if you can tell. I can certainly feel it. I feel like I'm in a bit of a rush. Um, I've got the end in sight on this journal now. I know I can achieve it in time, which is super because I feel just um, that sense of relief and um, what am I trying to say? Just don't feel so pressured now, I guess, but I do want to get it finished. There's a few things that I'll have to do at home um, that I can't do on camera, like sewing because um, I want to make a fabric flip, fabric flip and I want to do a belly band and I want to do some sewing on the belly band so those things I'll do at home so I'll probably do a flip, uh, flip through after I've done those things so that you can see them I don't think my vertical words are really working on this one so let's go for a wee phrase, if I can find one in my tin. Too big. Did we give time? No, too small. I might not find the right thing. Integrity, let's go with that. So I hope your day is going well. It's Thursday today, filming this, and tomorrow is Friday, so today the long, uh, sorry, tomorrow the long-awaited day I get to go shopping at Creative Junk. So looking forward to it and I need to remember to ring my mum today to check on how they're going whether they're still sick or not it would be really nice to catch up with them right there I'm just gonna leave it like that and find my pocket and slide it in there Perfect. Okay, so I've got very few pages left now that I need to do things for, but I do have a few journal cards that I may need to do. So I'm just grabbing my note, and I'm gonna cross off what I've already done. So I've done that one. Right, I do want to do an uptuck. Um, now, which page? I also went through and did a lot of stenciling. This is gonna be the page for the belly band um, this here, I have kind of composed the belly band um, so this is going to be the base but I also want to add some lace to it which is will be sewn on and I'm just I did bring the lace with me um, then I realized that I want to sew it so I just thought while I'm here, I might check and see that the lace is the one that I want. So I've just paper clipped these elements together. And it's this coffee dyed lace. Very appropriate for a cafe flowers journal and it's got flowers on it. And this strip of paper is a border piece from the paper pack I'm using, which is a brutiful day. 
yep, that lace will work fine. So I just put the lace in and then I thought, oh, I'm not sure if that lace is going to be the right one. But no, it'll be good. But I will do that at home, that's sewing. Right, so I'll just put these pieces back together so I don't lose any. Right, so I want to do, not on that page, that's the belly band page. Um, fabric flip, I think, goes in the back when I get it done. I'm just, just making sure that I get things in the places that I want it done, yes. But fabric flip in the back, belly band there. So I've got this stenciled page. I'm thinking I might leave it just as stenciled and do an uptuck on this page. Okay, so now I've got the page sorted. Actually, I'll leave it here for a moment while I need a base to form for the uptuck. So I'm just looking through my bits of stock and maybe I'll use this coffee bean. I really like this coffee bean paper. I think it's fun. And it's neutral enough that it has lots of different ways you can use it in backgrounds and things. Right, so I'm just roughly tearing a triangle, sort of. And when I do these I like to glue down each layer as I go rather than make the make it and decorate it and then glue it on uh, for some reason it sort of helps me make sure that it's going to work on the page better if I do it on the page All right, so just using my tacky glue I'm going to glue the top and the side the straight ones gluing it just back from the corner of the page a little bit so there's a slight border and I probably should have inked that first um, let's see if I can get in there while that glue is still drying I am terrible at remembering to do this when I'm on camera I seem to get in a hurry to do the next step and forget and considering I ink a lot of things, um, I'm not sure why I forget it. I would have thought that it would come naturally to just do it. Right, there we go. Now, some book page is always a lovely addition to these uptucks. So I'm going to grab a bit of this. Paper. I'm just going to tear off there where it's all been torn into and tear off this blank bit and then work out how much I want. And I like to overlap things um, that come out the side so that is I might just trim it down a tad, but other than that, that's all good. And give it some ink. Sorry. I've switched the camera back um, so I can't check and see whether I'm in camera or not, uh, unless I stand up to check. Uh, just because I've noticed that with the camera facing down, it seems to come out darker. I'm not sure why, apart from maybe a different quality uh, between the front and the back camera, which there always is a difference. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been coming out quite dark. It's perfectly watchable, but you know, I've got the light on and everything and shouldn't be that dark. So I've switched it back to see what difference it makes. And the setup works well at home, it comes out um, light and bright. 
it's just in this room so maybe the ambient lighting is is affecting the camera and how it records I, I guess that is the reason but anyway so I'm just just to let you know that I can't actually check that I'm in camera because I can't see without standing up all right what else would I like to put on this One of those labels from this scrapbook paper might be quite nice. I can't fussy cut it because the little curly cues go outside the boundary of the white. But not everything has to be fussy cut, does it? So I'm just going to trim off this first one. And trim this side because I don't want to cut into that border strip. I've never really used these border strips that come in paper packs and I don't quite know why because they're very handy. You don't have to use them as a strip down the page and I haven't, haven't actually done that at all. I've just been using them to decorate things with other than pages. Right. Yep. I think I like that there, and I'm wondering if I can find a smallish flower just to sit under the edge, just to peek out a little bit. So all my flowers that I printed at half size are at home. Some of these are a little bit smaller. I can always trim off some of these as well. Like I could trim off that, that big leaf and just leave that little leaf, which I might do. And this is one of my ones that printed without cyan, so it's um, the leaves aren't green. They're more goldy yellow, which is fine. Yeah, and the pink coffee cups on the label, that also ties in. So I'll go with this one. I'll just move this back out for my glue book. Yeah, so feeling really good about this journal and that I will have it done in time for my friend's birthday. It wouldn't have been the end of the world if it was late, but I would prefer to, to be able to give it to her even before her birthday. I'll be seeing her on Sunday, I hope. I expect to see her on Sunday uh, and it would be nice because I because she's new to this sort of journal I think it would be nice to go through it with her so she knows how to open everything and and not miss out on any of the features that are in it because she doesn't realize they open up or come out or you know you know what I'm saying footsteps down the stairs they're all off to morning tea because it's the boss's wife's shout for her birthday because her birthday is tomorrow so there's lots of people racing down to the other unit for the morning tea which means that it should be quite quiet here for a little bit until they all come back now this is cardstock, so I'm going to use Tacky Glue on that. Oops, I left it open so it's got a little dried bit on top. So I'm sort of starting to think now of what's next after this. Um, of course I've got lots of projects in mind. Uh, next time I do a video will be Trash Craft Tuesday again though, so um, I'll be doing something with some rubbish, which will be fun. I am really enjoying it. 
Now hopefully I haven't put glue under that edge. So I don't want to end up gluing it down to my page underneath. So I know there is a little bit of glue there. Might sit a little bit of paper under there just while it dries so it doesn't stick to my page. Right, and again I'm going to look for a word to see if there's something that might work. I think a vertical word down the side here might be suitable. Is it quite big? A little big. Uh, so these purpley sort of words, vertical words, are from my freebie that's available through my Facebook group on, on Facebook. Well, doesn't that just make a lot of sense? <laughs> um, so if you want to get your hands on this freebie, uh, just head along, ask to join the Facebook group Visual Vibes, and you can download this freebie printable. And there's two available at the moment. There's this one and there's the one with these colourful words on it. So there's an example of those. Uh, so this particular one, the version on Facebook, the freebie, is a different font. This is a font that I liked, but when I printed it out to test it at home, some of the letters didn't translate very well vertically. Like the Ds look like a B they look like a lowercase b and so I thought well I can't use that one so this is my test print that I have kept the words that did work in my stash so what you can see on Facebook is a different font to what you see here so I've printed it out I'm not going to waste it right that should be dry now okay so now I need a journal card to go up under that tuck. So I've got another piece of cardstock here. This is the other half. What did I make out of this? Oh, the trifold journal card. If you remember when I made that. Uh, so it's the top section of this 12 by 12 sheet of paper that I just used the bottom part for on this trifold. And I've gone ahead and given it a second paper clip because it keeps swinging. So I thought adding two paper clips there just keeps it in place nicely. Right, I'm going to do quite a generous sized journal card, I think. Um, I really wish I had a pencil because now I've got to try and cut this. Maybe I'll tear it with a ruler and then cut along the tear if it needs tidying up. So I'm just going to go about there-ish. I might line it up on the edge of the ruler so I can have a chance of getting it straight. That's not too bad. I think I can leave that torn edge. It'll be fine. Right, I'm not going to back it. Um, even though it's plain white, it'll be fine. I can, I will distress around the edges and I can always stencil it if I decide that I don't want it plain white. Oops, all these little bits of paper off the corners. Right. So I'm just going to leave this relatively plain. Um, maybe do a little central collage or something on it. Uh, definitely decorate it with something, but I might do a little collage just um, rather than coll collaging the whole thing. Do the back. Get the crumbs. Right, let's go for some good old book page again. Um, this 
this will be in the journal vertically, so maybe I'll do it vertical. Look, so I'm just going to start with some plain elements in the background, so for texture and interest. So I'll do this book page and then I'll look for a bit of music paper. Actually I might compose it before I stick it down. Um, close that while I'm fossicking. So I've got this bit here. Somebody sent me this uh, music paper in Happy Mail, and it's super cool. It's um, got a relatively small symbols on it compared to most sheet music. Most sheet music has um, a lot larger and, and bigger gaps between the lines. So I really like this one. gone ink crazy haven't I? I'm inking everything. Oops, there's a little torn bit, take that off. Um, so I'm trying to think if there's anything new, because I've done so many videos, so it's like, have I got anything I haven't told you? Um, I, I think I've already told you that I'm participating in February and June's prompt week, and today's prompt is feel. Uh, what's the coldest thing you've touched today? So I'm still pondering on that one. I've, out of everything that I've touched so far today, the winner would have to be a can of Pepsi. Um, I can't do the bubble, so I've already opened it and I've left it sitting on my desk back in the office for the bubbles to start dissipating. And um, it wasn't in the fridge or anything, but it was, it was cold. That, so far that's the coldest thing I've touched, but I am anticipating that my husband will come out and want me to hold his hands at some point, because he works in the warehouse and it's freezing out there. And he did yesterday, he came out and wanted me to shake his hand and I knew what he was up to, so I refused. But today, if he does the same thing, I might very well be saying the coldest thing I've touched is my husband's hands. Oh, that's pretty, I like that. Uh, do I want some sort of coffee coffee element in there? Just got all my pieces in a bag here so I don't lose anything. Um, I'm kind of not feeling the coffee on that one actually. I think I'll go more with the flowers. I do have butterflies here on a bit of scrap. Could possibly cut one of those out. No, no, not speaking to me. Um, what about a label? I really like it as is, but you know, you don't know that you're missing something unless you try it. What colours have we got? Neutral, yellow, green. These labels are Artsologies. start laying some things down I think because it's getting hard to organize it without them shifting and I'm pretty happy with the layers so far yes so I so far I've kept up with prompt week it is just the five days of the week um, and I correct me if I'm wrong Lydia I think it's just one week or is it one week a month? Um, I'm not sure. So, might be doing that again next month. 
which will be great. It's quite nice to have a prompt to journal to, and it's not that the whole spread is all about it, it's just, you know, a part of the overall spread. And I'm really, really enjoying um, doing a daily journal again, but doing it with colour and texture and interesting bits and pieces and capturing those small memories, those things that we forget. So I'm hoping I can keep it up. It's certainly more fun. And I've got Lydia from February and June uh, inspiring me and being a bit of a cheerleader, which is absolutely so sweet and lovely. I really appreciate it. out of frame but it was just slowly tipping over so I've just set it back up right can't wait to get rid of crutches it's so annoying uh, they're helping though I don't get so sore and it means I can sleep well at night because I'm I'm not sore at night mostly and if I am sore then it's quite mild and doesn't affect me sleeping so I also have to ring the medical centre because they rang yesterday while I was filming and asked if, if I wasn't using them, could they have the crutches back? So I need to ring them and say, well, actually, yes, I am still using them and I'm waiting on my operation. So after the operation, um, when the hospital will loan me the equipment I need, um, you can have them back then. Like that. But I must remember to do that. So a couple of phone calls to make today. And we should get a bit of a sleep in tomorrow because the shop creative junk that I can't wait to go to doesn't open till 11 a.m. And we'll probably leave home about 10 a.m. unless we decide we're going to go somewhere else first. Um, so yeah, we'll get a bit of a sleep in too, which will be lovely. Right, let's look and see if a number, if we want to add a number here. There's one with the green border. Yep, I like that. Works quite well. So these, uh, this is another example of my hand stamped labels, which are available on Etsy as well. So just one New Zealand dollar for how many did I put in the kit? Fifteen? Is it? I can't remember. So they're all hand stamped by me from coffee dyed or coffee dyed paper or old book page strips from old book pages. And I lay it up with lots of different stamps, create a background texture. There, really, really like that. Feels a little plain up here, but that's that could be writing space. And I quite like the simplicity of that. So I am going to call it done. Whether I go back and fiddle with it a little more, who knows. So we just tuck that in under there. Beautiful. Love that. That's super cool. And my nose is just being a pain this morning. Is it being a bit colder? And I had a tissue here a moment ago, but I can't find it. Oh, I've buried it, so just excuse me a moment. Right, that's better. I don't want to be sniffing on camera. And not polite. Right, just tidy up a little bit here as we look at the next thing to do. So I'll check off my, my list. So 
So about uh, top up tuck, yes, and journal card to go in it, yes. Right, I need to do a journal card to go behind the belly band, but I'm thinking, do I do that after I've done the belly band? Let's have a look. So this is the page for the belly band, and the belly band is going to go there. about doing a fold over one but I think I'll just keep it simple okay, so I need to take a couple of inches off that end or an inch and a half or something just roughly normally I like to do them afterwards to make sure that they fit because the glue takes up some of the space and if it spreads out a bit too much then you've got less space than what you anticipated. So I generally like to do these afterwards to make sure that they will fit. But I think it'll be fine. Okay, so now I want to keep that darker area. Trim down about there. Two rough edges and two straight edges, I think it will be fine. And this one I might actually sew as well uh, when it's finished. Go in behind the belly band, give it a stitched edge, it'll be quite nice. I haven't done a lot of sewing in this, and I think that's because a lot of the things I've done have been um, here at my husband's work, so I don't have my sewing machine. And when I'm am recording at home, I've got lots of other things to do, so I haven't been getting my sewing machine out. But I do need to alter a few clothes as well, so I can get a bit more wear out of them. So I can see I'm going to have to get the sewing machine out to finish up the journal anyway, and maybe I'll do some clothes alterations at the same time. Just very basic clothes alterations, uh, like taking up a hem or taking in the waist, things like that. Right, so again we need to decorate this up. So this video is sort of basically just a lot of decorating. Um, so I hope it's not boring for you. Bit of collage, bit of all those fun things that are just part of the process. So hopefully it's fun for you to watch as well. So I'm going to go for maybe a central. Yeah, how about that central collage? Maybe something a little different. Oh, I haven't inked the back of the card, so I'll do that in a sec. And I might back the back of this one. Um, actually, yes, I'll do that first. I'll back this one with writing paper. Um, gives it a, a little more thickness, which I find sits better in a belly band. It's not so loose if it's a little bit thicker. Because sometimes they can slide it a little bit in a belly band if it's not a tight fit. Right, so put that aside for a moment while I do the back. So I'm not going to do a complex collage on the back. Quite quick and easy, I believe. No glue stick. So tell me, uh, if you're a journal maker, do you put a lot of collage in your own journals? I know not everybody loves collage, um, and I'm like, how do you how do you do your journals if you don't collage? Do you just 
put one sheet and call it done or I'm just curious call it research <laughs> if you if you wouldn't mind answering the question as to if you don't like collage how do you do your journals this is some turmeric dyed paper uh, what other paper have I got here got some I think this is cabbage dyed yep cabbage dyed so maybe a bit of that something a little different because I have got some of the turmeric paper elsewhere in the journal I think I used it yesterday on something oh that might have been off camera actually in the afternoon when I wasn't filming so this has got some really nice yellows and greens and sort of a slight bluey purple I think the cabbage I used was red cabbage so it gives a different result when you mix it with different things like um, baking soda or vinegar right and this is quite thick paper it was a bond paper I used for this dyeing on this particular piece so I am going to use tacky glue I have a, a feeling that the glue sticks are not going to work that well on it doesn't feel it feels like it's got a surface that's not going to take to the glue stick so might as well save myself having to go back in and add tacky glue by just whoops I'm squeezing the bottle too hard getting too much glue funny now I need to get rid of some of that scrap paper just to move it around a bit otherwise it's all going to smooch out the sides That'll do. Oops. Uh, maybe if I wipe it on the back of that collage piece. I managed to get some on the front. And I've got glue on my thumb, on the back of my thumb. I'm getting in a mess. Right. And I've got a bit to trim off. Let's grab a off cut here. some of that glue okay so I need to trim around both sides actually so I'll start with this side because I can't see any glue on this side that's starting to come back from wanting to up the stairs it's quite entertaining the different rhythms of people walking upstairs I'm very slow upstairs because I'm using a crutch so it's quite one, one stair at a time and it's definitely a very slow but steady rhythm and with the added sound of the crutch which has its own sort of metallic I'm going to round the corners now and then I will ink the corners and the back oops trying, trying to throw my sponge around So I have in mind too a little treat on the way home tomorrow. Um, my husband was craving a soft serve ice cream from McDonald's. It's about the only thing we get from McDonald's. And um, he was frustrated because his co-worker often goes to McDonald's but didn't go that day. And so he hasn't had his ice cream. And I thought, they're a treat for me as well, something I don't have very often, or neither of us have very often. And I thought maybe on the way home we can stop in and grab one and have a treat. I think that 
should be really nice. Nice way to end the day before we get home. Right, let's, let's get it. Oh, sorry about that. It's getting a bit blurry, so I'm just going to switch out my new page for a new one. So yeah, there's one we like to go to. It's a new one uh, for an, inside a new subdivision on the way home. So it's about oh, 20 minutes maybe from home. Uh, maybe 15, I'm not quite sure. Um, so it's a good sort of distance for eating an ice cream. And I imagine my husband will have to finish mine off for me, which I'm sure he would not mind in the slightest. Depending if we feel like one at that point in time. I mean, we might not, but that's, that's my thinking that I'd like to do. Mm, I think that's too long. And this one I'm just going to glue down as I do it. Um, yeah, I mix and match my methods. Just depending on whether things are frustrating me. If they're moving and frustrating me, I like to just glue them down and then I'll make something work. And then sometimes I really want to think about what it's going to look like and have the option to rearrange. So... Yeah, just depends on my mood, I guess. Right, um, have I got any other background papers I might want to use? Got a little bit of the stamp album page here. Let's see what a little bit of that will look like. This I normally reserve for writing, for using as writing space, but I think it could be quite quite nice just as a layered element on this. Just take off that straight edge since the other edges aren't straight. I think. And I feel because the background's quite plain, um, the inking just makes the thing stand out a bit more and makes it more feature-like, I guess. More feature-like than what it would be otherwise. Yep, that's good there. It could have been a little bit longer I think but it still works there we go I think that's looking really good now what do I want to stick on top that is the question I've been using a lot of flowers, it is a flower journal, but I'm kind of like feeling like I want something different and I haven't got a lot of options. I've got this fresh coffee. If I inked it up, it's a bit white, but if I added some ink that might work. So these uh, sayings and the images came from Creative Fabrica, which I will see if I remember to put a link to, or at least the website name, because I can't remember whether it's a .net or a .com or a .something else, um, in the description box of the video. sure about it. I'll ink it up and see if that makes it feel better. It may not be the right thing for, for this. But I'll just give it a brush over with the ink just to dull down that white. I don't know if you can see me doing that. I'm just very lightly sort of dabbing the ink on. Yeah, that's better. I like that a lot better. And what am I going to put with it? 
got this heart shaped cookie. Let's see if a heart shaped cookie will work. So I might have to trial a few things for this one. So I'm, I'm trying to avoid going to my box of flowers. I haven't got my other butterflies here. And I don't want one of those ones off the scrapbook paper. It's not quite the right look. It's not vintagey enough, I guess, for this particular this look, how this is turning out. So these illustrations are watercolour elements, so they've got that lovely soft look. Oops, I'm making a hash job cutting this out. Should have been quite simple. Give it a bit of ink because I think I'll need that to tell whether I like it or not. Turn that heat pump down. I'm starting to get uh, quite toasty. Turn it down a couple of degrees. Yep, I like that. What else do I want to use, people? What have I got that I can use? Remembering I'm going to stitch it too, so that will add some texture. I wonder if I've got a little snippet of lace I could add. Uh, I don't like to add too much to these ones that go under belly bands and things because it can get a bit caught up. No, definitely not yellow. Got this little bit of pink lace. down the side. Yeah, quite like it down the side. And what else? What else have I got available? Hmm, got flowers, a few coffee bits. Not a lot to be honest. I do have these watercolour coffee cups. I've used them in other places, so I'm just trying to get out the bag. These ones here, I've used a big one. Maybe I'll see if a smaller one fits. The smaller than the cookie, isn't it? Maybe I need a bigger one. a bit better. can be a giant cookie. At our local farmers market, um, they have a person there who I've never actually come across because we don't go that often to the market and she wasn't there when we went last weekend, who makes giant cookies. Uh, it's not something we'd ever buy. They like the size of a cake, you know, they're as round as a cake um, because we don't do sugar and as far as I know she doesn't do keto Cookies, giant cookies. Be super cool if she did though. I think it's a she. I think it's a woman. But yeah, I see them on posted on Facebook and they look quite impressive. It's a great idea for a birthday or something instead of a cake. Maybe a little cluster like that. I think that's, um, I'm just not sure about the lace. It looks lovely, but I 
actually it should be fine because if you tuck in from that side because it's on that side of the page the lace shouldn't be an issue I'm going to risk it I am going to just go for it use my premium craft glue for the lace going to put it under the edge, the straight edge of the lace. Because if you were tucking it into a belly bean from this side, that's going to run into it every time and get caught up, which would be super, super annoying. I'm thinking I might want to round the corners on this uh, to match the rounded corners on the card. So I'll just do that. Oops, that didn't cut very well. That's better. Oh. Why are you not cutting properly? Might have needed another bit of paper behind it to do it. Get a job, but I got there. Got there in the end. Right, and I'm going to use tacky glue for this just because I am going over top of that lace on the edge. So, hopefully, I'm in camera, guys. I do apologize that I can't check without disrupting everything but hopefully it will be brighter it'll be nicer to watch because of the because of being lighter that's what I hope okay now back to the glue stick for the other things I do need to uh, I'll show you this actually this has got white in the coffee cup handle and I could go in there and cut it out with a craft knife um, if I had my cutting mat here. I could go in with these wee scissors and cut it out. But in things like this, I like to just cut in somewhere where it's it's not going to be noticeable that you've actually cut it. And it makes it so much easier to cut out that gap and ink it as well. And then once it's glued down, no one would ever know that you actually cut through at that point. And it's all about picking a natural point where there's a change in colour or texture. So I've cut between the dark of the coffee cup and the light of the handle. So once it's back together, if you do see any join, you just think it's naturally the difference between the two. It makes does make life so much easier when you're fuzzy cutting. Of course, you don't want to put ink on those uh, those bits, otherwise it will highlight the break <laughs> a bit more than what you want. Right, so I had that under the heart, didn't I? Put the heart there, so I can just get the placement right. Only you and I know. There you go, you know my secret. Shh, don't tell. Right, and then our little cookie heart. There we go. That is lovely. So I will stitch around that as well. So I better make a note for myself of what I want to sew. Otherwise, I'm guaranteed to forget. So when our belly band is in place and without paper clips or anything, then we'll slide that in under there. So if I was sliding it in this way, we'd get there and 
you hear that? They just catch, which would be super annoying. I could put a bit more glue under there and I might do yet, um, but for the moment I'm just going to leave that. So I'm going to tuck that in there so I remember. With, actually I might clip it onto the belly band bits. So sew those. I'm going to write myself a wee note. So, there you go. Right, so how am I doing on my list? Let's see. I have done the funeral card for the belly band. I think we're just about there, guys. So, I'm really, really happy with <coughs> what I've got it. <coughs> Excuse me. What I've got achieved. Uh, nearing the end. So I've got a little bit of sewing to do, just a couple of finishing bits, and then I'll do a flip through before I hand it over to my friend for her birthday. So thanks for joining me everybody, I hope you found this enjoyable, I hope you picked up a tip or two or got inspired, uh, do let me know, pop along to the Facebook group Visual Vibes, uh, participate, show some photos of what you're making, join the conversations, and uh, grab yourself a freebie or two. I'd love to see you over there. So have a great day. And the next video I do is probably going to be Tuesday, except for the flip through. So I will see you then. Bye for now.